Now the next concept that we are going to talk is called the concept of divorce. This is family law. Now family law, questions from family law has come on a number of occasions in CLAT, ELIT, Maharashtra CET. Now what is this concept of divorce? Wait, wait, wait. What is this concept of divorce that we are talking about now? Now marriage, divorce, depends on the religion a person follows that's why it is called family law now what is this it depends on religion now hindus have different methods or different rules different regulation for, of marriage a person following islam has different rules relating to marriage a parsi a christian they all have their own rules and regulation relating to marriage, right? Now, here we are talking about Hindus, Hindu Marriage Act. Now, this Hindu Marriage Act categorically says that a marriage is nothing but an union of two souls. Muslim law says it in a different way rules are different so under this particular law divorce that we are talking about what does it say it says that cruelty if the husband is being cruel to the wife if the wife is cruel to the husband the term cruelty i'm sure you understand it can be a reason for asking for a divorce so cruelty happens to be a reason happens to be a ground ground or reason for asking for a divorce now this is provided under section 13 you guys need not know it but you should know that under the hindu marriage act of 1955 under the Hindu Marriage Act of 1955, there is an explicit provision that cruelty can be a ground for separation. Let's see what does 13A subclause 1 say? 1 subclause A say, any marriage solemnized before or after the commencement of the Hindu Marriage Act of 1955 on a petition present by either of the spouse so either the husband can go to the court or the wife can go to the court so this is equal it's not that only wife can go to the court or only the husband can go to so this is a gender neutral provision may on a petition presented by either of the spouse be dissolved by a decree of divorce on the ground that the other party that the other party has treated the petitioner with cruelty so cruelty is a particular ground for getting a divorce for separation is that clear all of you all of you any doubt okay landmark cases don't have to remember the name it form the conduct of the spouse either the husband or the wife and interference now spouse and inference sorry not interference inference can be legitimately drawn that the treatment of such nature that is caused apprehension in the mind of the other spouse about his or her mental welfare now, if there is a situation where the husband or the wife is going through some mental pressure, there is an apprehension of a cause of a problem of mental health issue, that can be a ground of cruelty. That amounts to cruelty. Now, suppose a husband is saying something bad to the wife not beating do not always think that sir the husband has not slapped the wife no mental cruelty mental cruelty if you are torturing not physical torture mentally if you are torturing that is what is said have i made myself clear all of you 
Is that clear? Another case. Okay. What happened? Wife making false allegation. When the wife has made certain false allegation against the husband of having an illicit relationship. Extramarital affairs. Now, if the wife tomorrow tells the husband that you have an extramarital affairs, you have a, a bad character, something like that. And if it is false, that too amounts to cruelty. Have I made myself clear? So even that would also amount to cruelty under the Hindu Marriage Act. Is that clear? You understand what is cruelty now? All of you? Any doubt? Another two cases. Cruelty includes such acts which may cause mental agony. Now, please, I request everyone who is listening to me right now, mental cruelty is also a ground. It is not only talking about physical cruelty. In another case, the court said that solitary instance of cruelty would not constitute cruelty for divorce. Rather, the behavior has to be persistent and repeated treatment with cruelty. Now, in a husband and wife relation, there can be ups and downs. There can be alteration. There can be a fight. You know, people have. That is not cruelty. Now, you might not agree with your husband. You might not agree with your wife. It's fair. But cruelty is not that. Cruelty is has to be persistent in nature. It has to be continuous effect of it. One, once in a blue moon, there is an alteration between the husband and the wife. There is a fight between the husband and the wife. That is not cruelty because that wear and tear happens in daily lives. Is that clear? So, this is what the law is. Have I made myself clear? Everyone.